everyone. Um, in today's video, you are going to hear my dogs outside going crazy because we have some little stray visitors. And, yep, that's my Mastiff. He's letting them know he's the boss. And so if you're like me, it will just enhance the video and make it even better. So enjoy the dogs. Uh, but today we're going to talk about eggshells in magic and their properties. Um, so, I mean, when you think of eggshells, you know, of course, you think of protection. They encase and protect the baby chick. Um, and as fragile as they seem to us, you know, I could easily crush this. In fact, I'm fixing to. <laughs> but um, they are powerful, powerful protection. Um, and you've heard that thing where if you take out the, if you get a cut, and you take out, of course, before it dries, the, the membrane. You can put it on the cut until you can get to the, the doctor to get stitches. So this membrane is like paper thin. But just think of the amazing protection abilities that it has. And all this is provided by nature. It's such a beautiful thing. Um, and most people just throw their eggshells away. But um, I love Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I'll link her page below. And she taught me a lot about eggs. She does a lot of different videos um, about different magical ingredients and their properties and ways to use them that you would never think of. And, of course, she talks about the energy of eggs and how you don't want store-bought eggs that, you know, the chickens lived a miserable life in a cage and we're fed mush and because then that energy will become part of your magical workings so I get my eggs for my friend she's a co-worker and she has very healthy happy yard chickens who are completely free range and live in the dream and so she supplies me with the eggs and my ferrets and my dogs and my family eat them and then I save the the magical eggshells and I cleanse them and then I use my awesome mortar and pestle to grind them up. And, uh, ooh, look at the powder. Wow. But anyway, ooh, very powerful magic. I can see it on screen, but not in real life. That's so cool. But um, look how fine it, it grinds up. So uh, my advice and the advice that you'll get from other YouTube witches, especially Jen, the taxidermy witch, you know, you want to, you can go with her shins to banish any, any negativity that the chicken or the egg might have come to in their life, um, even though these were healthy, happy chickens, we want to make sure we don't have any negativity going into our protection spell, or of course you can go dot seal I don't even know that word, but clockwise to, you know, bring on abundant protection, good things, positive things. So keep that in mind as you're working. And um, let me crush one up for y'all and y'all can see how awesome. It's so satisfying. And I don't know if I do it right. I just kind of take out my aggression and I'm going to go and it's just so satisfying. I gotta get a, a camera stand so I can use both hands because I'm just holding it so I can't really do it right. But it does not take long to mash it up. And then what I do is I just keep mine and instead, because I do a lot of uh, work outside and when I make my circle, you know, I don't want to use salt or whatever because that's bad for the environment. Well, I can't open it one-handed but um so i use the eggshells to create my protective circle and um so i keep them these are actually kalua bottles <laughs> that i've cleansed and boiled and dried and they are great for keeping my my eggshells in i finally filled one up this is about two or three months full of um eggshells and there's my little blessing on there. And so I've got some more bottles. I'm going to uh, do some more and probably give them to friends. And um, so anyway, that is just a little bit about um, eggshells and how to use them for protection. You can also, instead of, you know, just using them for making your circles, you can, you know, oops, still, still very natural. It's got the 
the good energy there. Anyway, you can use it to protect your window sills, your your doorways, um, anything like that. So if you can think of anything else that you could use eggshells for in magic, please let me know. And like I said, I'm going to... Um, so y'all can get some more better, more professional information from Jen, the taxidermy witch. I will link her site below. Check her out and follow her. She's amazing. Uh, anyway, blessed be. Talk to y'all later. Bye.